Well, what's up, YouTube? Weird little random video because it's not even that nice out, but I feel like it is. It's 50 degrees. It's windier than all hell. Got the chopper back at the house. So we're going to rip this back to the shop. I rode the Evo up there earlier today. Coated some of those airplane parts. I'm going to stop by my buddy's house or shop on this. And then I got to go back and flip-flop and bring Evo back home later tonight. So bringing you guys along for a ride, I think, if this starts. I've been running the whole time, so it shouldn't be an issue. And we're off. Nice little long rip on the chopper. That bike is running like a top. I have no complaints. A little bit goofy on the starting procedure since adding the air cleaner. It was a consistent three or less. Now or I had started in 30 today, so I can't complain. But not as happy as it used to be. So we're gonna lock that one down. The air cleaner addition has definitely richened up the mixture a little bit. And it's not as happy as it was. So, made it all day today, back to the shop. 
It's cold. <laughs> it's not warm enough for what I'm wearing. Now we gotta take the Evo home. So I'm gonna clip you guys back on the tank, just like that, and do the, uh, you know, required we gotta get home thing. Evo things, no kicking involved, just a uh, start button. <laughs> That's what motorcycles are supposed to do. Evo Sporty is back home now. Rip the chopper around and this thing all day. Not warm. Mid 40s, but the sun was out and I had some free time. So tried to enjoy myself a little bit. Hopefully you guys don't mind the riding videos. A quick little update. It's been like four, four days, maybe a week. Just shy of a week. I don't know, I lose track. Since we were ripping these bikes around. Uh, editing them and realized that I didn't film an outro for that chopper one. In that time, we got nailed with about five inches of snow yesterday, two days ago. Most of it's melting, but still Midwest problems, I guess. And I got the week off, so lots of videos coming soon. I'm gonna get cranking away on this thing. It's really close, it's just the final little bits, ignition, clutch, and the lever controls that I gotta put back together, which is really boring and really tedious. Lots of little springs and things. But goal is to get this one done, and by the end of my vacation, I think I'm gonna start ripping into the Super Glide. We got the Evo running like a top. Not that I had to do anything mechanically on this, but structurally it's good. I got a different set of bags I think I wanna throw on here. Chopper is running, but buried because we got slammed with work at the shop again, so it's kind of tucked off into a corner and I can't even get to it right now, but it is what it is. And that bike's for sale, so if anybody's interested and wants to shoot me a fair offer on the channel, give you guys a little bit of a break on that. I'm not gonna ship the thing though, so you gotta find your way out into the northwest suburbs of Illinois if you are interested. I got it up on Facebook Marketplace. I've gotten a handful of messages on it, but man. Man, oh man, do I dislike dealing with certain people on there. Uh, also, Dottie's in charge of responding to those, so don't try and mansplain to her that it's a iron head and it's worth 1200 bucks. or I've had, I don't need to see pictures of your bikes that you've paid or sold or whatever, and then send me pictures of a stock like 81 Sportster because they're not at all the same. Sorry, uh, not trying to be rude, but we don't need to, I, I don't know. She's dealing with it. I get frustrated when she gets frustrated dealing with people commenting and chiming in and saying like their life experiences and their things and whatnot. Most of the time they're not wrong. I'm kind of in the same camp, but when you send me a hodgepodge thrown together like mismatched 81-ish, 82-ish Sportster, it's not the same as a early 900 mag-fired long girder for an end invader wheels and it's worth it in parts okay if you wanted to build all buy all of those parts separately used the markets there when i bought the bike i priced out the parts value of it just so happened to be in better shape got it running learned a ton from that bike so that's kind of where we're at on that one i don't want to dive into that but i don't need to see pictures of your bikes and what you think an iron hat is actually worth because it's different than that i see the other bikes on facebook marketplace there's other Ironhead Choppers on Facebook Marketplace. This one is a little bit different for several reasons, which we will go into at a later point if need be, but as of right now, it's listed. Um, 
I got it posted for, I don't know, four grand or something. It's titled, it runs great, <clears throat> fresh top end, fresh motor, fresh mag. Let me know if you're interested or know anybody interested because I would like to get rid of one of these. I'm running out of space. But if it doesn't sell, that's fine because I enjoy riding that when we don't have five inches of snow. So that's going to wrap this one up. We'll be back out here in a little bit and we'll start a new one, new video on trying to get the clutch stuff and wiring and all the final details on this little moped done because I want to start playing shovel heads again. It's been a long time. So thanks for watching. Hope you don't mind the ride along videos. Got two this week, which is me just enjoying myself and riding them. I know it's through the bars. I'm not doing fancy rigging or anything like that because I don't care that much, but magnet base on a GoPro, clip it on the tank, be on my merry way. See what the footage looks like in editing. I'm rambling. We'll see you tomorrow.